Just a day away from the first round of the big dance, the SU women's basketball team is putting on the finishing touches here at Thompson Bowling Arena in Tennessee, making their fifth all-time NCAA tournament appearance and first since 2008, where they lost in the first round to Hartford. Should he get number 900 tonight, you'll see a lot of these t-shirts on sale tomorrow. And if he doesn't get it, he'll get another shot on Saturday at the Garden. While it took to the second to last bracket to be announced, just like that, the SU women's basketball team is headed to the big dance in Knoxville, Tennessee, picking up the seventh seed in the NCAA tournament, slated to take on 10 seeded Creighton. With most of Utica's claims to fame being food like chicken riggies and Utica greens, it's no wonder the city's other most popular draw would be a way to work it all off at the Boilermaker 15K road race. The Liverpool Warriors have always relied on their offense to get them to the playoffs, but with scoring down this season, play between the pipes becomes even more important. Coming into today's matchup against the third-ranked Huskies, the Orange had all the elements, it seemed, to stage a major upset against a big-time Big East rival. Walters has always made his living on a field. When he was younger, it required a much different skill set growing up on a cattle farm in Wyoming. 